Hey friends, so today I'm going to be going through a project that was kind of inspired by Calc Programmer 1. He did this really cool, neat thing with the keyboard visualizer uh, using an addressable LED strip. So that's what this is right here, and um, an Arduino. Uh, and I just happen to have a, a, a micro here, if you can see that. Um, and of course I prototyped it uh, using just a regular Uno. Um, so we're going to use uh, some Arduino code that he wrote, and also a keyboard visualizer. Um, but I wanted to show you something real quick, just just a neat thing. Pete B um, on uh, YouTube actually showed me this. I've been soldering headers and just soldering in general for a long time, but I never thought about doing it like this. So he literally put the the headers in a breadboard and then just soldered them on instead of literally kind of having them here where you're, you know, when you're soldering, you're kind of pushing the thing around. Um, that worked out really well. I'm not going to show you soldering because first off, I'm terrible at it. And then secondly, it's kind of like watching paint dry. But I thought that was a really cool way to actually handle uh, these nice little bitty soldering jobs. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to uh, use again, this it's an addressable LED strip. And uh, you can get this from uh, Amazon, I believe, or, or eBay or whatever, uh, you know, for like, I don't know, uh, 20 bucks. This is 16 feet. I'm really only going to use about three. And, um, and then, of course, the these little minis, uh, these are controller boards for the Arduino. Um, and so we're going to give this a shot, uh, wire everything up, and uh, then um, we're going to use uh, the software he wrote and uh, plug it all in and see if we can kind of get a cool desk mod going. Um, so let's see how that goes and and we'll uh, we'll hop on to the next step. Okay so now we have everything soldered up. As you can see I've got a power going to the 5 volts, a ground, and then data going to pin 6 which this code expects. So let's get the code on this thing. We're going to go out to GitHub, Calc Programmer, Keyboard Visualizer, his repo, and uh, head on over to the Arduino code. Open that guy up. And go raw. We're going to copy and paste. That's the best way to program. And um, plug that guy in. And come on over here to here. Paste that in. And let's go ahead and check the compile. So, again, uh, Calc Programmer did all this hard work to get this really cool thing working. And um, I'm just going through the desk mod part uh, because um, it's a lot less difficult. I'm really, really grateful for all the work you did um, and these others too. Okay, so we just uploaded it. We're done with that part of it. Um, we're gonna head out here, uh, and uh, what I did was I just I just cloned the repo, and also um, he has he has not he has releases as well. And so here's the actual executable. You just make a shortcut by right clicking, create shortcut which I did and if I go here to properties um, uh, you can see we just it passed in the command line property LED strip com3 now note about before I get rolling on this and note about this code here um, again he expects pin 6 you can change that of course uh, but also uh, it requires that if you're going to use a different board make sure to set that here make sure that you know your com uh, port which is right here and also you can include, uh, or you're going to need to include the NeoPixel library. So you can go to Manage Libraries and uh, just type in Neo or something like that. And of course you'll find it um, and install it. And that's really kind of all you need. Um, so let's go ahead and fire this thing off. We know we're on COM3. Um, and you should be able to see the keyboard and that. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to set the background to maybe a nice blue. And then the foreground, let's do a rainbow because that's kind of cool. Um, and so uh, let's play some music because we're cool like that. And uh, let's do this. So as you can see, it's following along with the chroma enabled device, which is pretty cool. So that was incredibly simple. Um, 
nothing to it, uh, which is in, it just awesome. And again, he's got a video out here. I'll, I'll add the link. The soldering uh, pins video is is great too. That that was a really cool little trick uh, that he did. Um, and then the last thing I came across this Nergasm video um, where he actually uses hot glue to attach uh, cables and, and things underneath his desk, and which is great because I don't want to damage. I'd hate to damage this desk, you know, drill holes in it or, or anything else. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm going to give that a go, and uh, we're going to do that just next. Okay, so I'm thinking, like, I'm not going to bang my head again. Mm. Seriously hurt. So I'm thinking something like this. Like, I don't want too far to the end because the color will bleed over. But something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got some um, good old masking tape, um, or scotch tape, whatever you call it. Um, my mama called it masking tape. So I'm just going to tape it into place, and then I can get to come back around with the hot glue gun and, and then do the business. And that way it'll hold in place and I won't have to like uh, try to grapple with a hot glue gun and holding this thing up on top. And it doesn't, I don't think it has to be perfect. Um, I kind of like it to be, but it's not going to be. Alright. Alright, I think that'll be good. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just work here. I'm going to have another thought, too. <laughs> Raise the desk. There we go. Let's point that a little higher. How's that? That way we can kind of see it all the way down. Yeah. And that's what I'll do is I'll just grab the end here and I'll dab a little bit of hot glue. Again, according to Barnacles, which I seem to trust them. There we go, right there. So just a little bit too much and I'm just gonna stick it up there and he says if you ever want to remove it all you really have to do is um, uh, get a get a hairdryer or something all right so right now it's not working that's okay we'll keep on keep on keeping on Let's see what happens I'll hold it there for a couple seconds I mean, like, it seems like it would work really well, but I don't know. I don't know. Got all excited to use a hot glue gun. We'll see what happens. It doesn't seem to be sticking at all. Am I not holding it? Oh, it's sticking here, though. No one be sticking here. Maybe I don't have the right glue. I don't know. I don't know so much about hot glue guns. Let's try again. I'm going to give it another try. It doesn't seem to be sticking to the, uh, more is better. Uh, it doesn't seem to be sticking to the LED strip. It sticks to the disc just fine. But the LED strip is not. Here, make me get, get out the little brackets. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to put those silly brackets on there because it'll put a bunch of holes in the bottom of this desk. And I'm not a fan of that. So maybe I just didn't over muting enough. Uh, maybe that's what it was. So this is the furthest thing from straight, but that's okay. Yeah, maybe I just wasn't using enough. Big old glob, I think that's what it is. Alright, next glob. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because, ah, uh, but it does have the stick! not going to work, is it? Bleh. All right, what about this? Just put it all over it like that. Yep, yep, yep. Make a little, make a little bracket. Let's see how that works. Could have worked a bit better. Oh, it's totally not going to work. Oh, that's a huge disappointment. Now, imagine if I took it out of this little sleeve. Uh, it might work. Man. But that's 
that's not gonna it's not gonna cut the cheese. It doesn't even uh, solidify on this plastic. Wow. All right. Well, you know, it was gonna be a really cool idea because I didn't like I said I didn't want to damage this desk. Um, you know, I'm putting some more junk into it. You know what I can do is I can get some of these little uh, cable ties here. Yeah, you know, maybe that's what I'll do instead. Is these little ties? Um, I got I got a few extra of those. These little guys, and they use some kind of like 3M sticky thing on there. So maybe I'll do that instead, and uh, we'll try that. Let's see how that works. Okay, round two. So I wasn't quite ready to give up on the hot glue, which I'm kind of glad I didn't. So what I did was I cut away this plastic sheath. Now I know this is gonna like it diffuses the light and it also protects you from getting shorts if you I don't know get touch metal on something. Um, but it sticks extremely well. Yeah. So what I did was I grabbed uh, this nice little exacto knife and I uh, just cut away. If you can see that. So I cut away a bit of the plastic. Um, and I'm gonna give that a shot and see if that works. Um, that would be great. Uh, so, so far it sticks extremely well. And uh, I'm very excited. I haven't been this excited about hot glue um, in a long time. I mean, it actually, you know, some good, good stuff. So it looks like it's going to work really well. I mean, it's sticking. Um, it's it's uh, pinched right there, so it's, it's really nice. It's good and stuck. And again, to get that down, all I really need to do is go after it with a hot glue, uh, I'm not hot glue gun, maybe a hair dryer or something to get that down. Um, so I'm going to do the rest of this line, and we'll come back and have a look. Okay, so while I was hot gluing and burning myself, um, I had an epiphany thought. Um, I have... Uh, just a long coil of Velcro, and I thought, hey, that would have been a great idea to do that instead of cutting all these up, um, but I wasn't going to give up on the hot glue because I really wanted it to work, and it looks like, after all, it does. Uh, the problem is, of course, I had to end up cutting um, cutting in. Oh, I, look, it fell off. Dude, I'm not going to give up on this hot glue. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Anyway, so I Velcroed the the... Uh, Arduino up here. Um, I might like put that in a little case or something, you know, just so I don't, um, I don't know, stab myself with a header pin or something. I, I don't know. It's probably not gonna be a problem. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna reevaluate these. These this this was like is very very tight. Um, but I think what it is, is is the outside of this just kind of mashing up against it. It's not working too well. But I got the other spaces okay. Kind of made a mess of things, but that's all right because we're just trying to figure it out. Um, so maybe I will stick a few strands of uh, Velcro up there. I don't know. Um, but next up is I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap all this up, clean it up, and uh, well, let's turn it on and see what it looks like. I thought it looked pretty good. <laughs> Again, stood on the shoulders of giants, uh, thanks to our, our friend um, Cal Programmer, um, to his video, Peter B, um, and of course uh, the cool cable management trick from uh, Barnacles. So, um, 
what what we use? We use the Neo Pixel, the small, the little small uh, um, kind of Arduino clone. I think it's a generic one actually, but um, this cost about five bucks right here. Uh, we used a roll of addressable LEDs, uh, about three feet, and that was a couple bucks. Um, and then I used a mess of, gosh, hot glue. Uh, you know, maybe that wasn't the best approach for that, but I really wanted it to work. And it did, once I removed the, the certain plastic. Um, so that's just a, a kind of a pro tip um, there, as well as, um, I always remember to bring an extra stick of glue. Um, I ran out midway through all that. Um, Again, another way I could have approached it was using Velcro, maybe. I just didn't want to drill any holes in the desk. Um, but again, lots of fun. I'll post all of the videos, the related videos and everything uh, from them and, um, and the, the things I used. Uh, so that maybe you could do it yourself. But it turned, I thought it turned out pretty good. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm usually not kind of um, into all that light and stuff, but um, it turned out I thought well. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope uh, you go and make.